Hey, I looked down. I saw you. You saw your sign. Is there any chance you can fit me in? You was working up there in the building? Yeah, yeah, I work six floor somewhere. I don't know. This is my first time even being here. Okay, bet. Bro, I got you. Let's get it. So what do you do? I work in accounting as my like corporate job, and I really do enjoy that. But on the side, I used to DJ before the pandemic. How's your life been since the COVID and everything has happened? There's been a big restraint on like the things I can do. I'm really more of an introverted person. I, I really kind of work on bettering myself. You, like, give me some insight on like what you got you into this. It was it was a tough time for me because you know I had all my friends in high school go to their dream colleges and I got denied to everyone that I applied for. And then trying to grind it out, but you know hoping it'll pay off one day. And you know thank God that it did. It took a lot of work, but sometimes I feel like we're the right seed with the right soil, but not with the right sunlight. Right for a plant to grow, you gotta have all these things aligned. Although I had the drive and the passion to bring be who I am today, even though I had that in the garage in Fayetteville, I didn't have no sunlight to really help me grow. So me coming to Atlanta gave me the sunlight I needed. You get nervous meeting new people? I get really nervous. I have a little bit of social anxiety, and that's why I kind of push myself. I mean, even like this was a big step. Like having social anxiety, how do you work through that? I know, like deep down, that like there are so many people in the world, in that no one's focused on what I do. Putting myself in situations where I'm like forced to meet new people, forced to talk to people, put my feet in the water so I can get more used to it. See, man, I think like a lot of the things that we think other people are thinking, most of the time it only lives in our head. I think sometimes like, our own thoughts will scare us away from opportunities to meet other people. Sound like you love DJing, man. Why don't you come out here and DJ? I left the like the DJ equipment. My brother has that. So why don't you get him to ship it? It's not a huge investment if you're gonna use it often, you know. So what are we waiting on? When you actually sit down and think about it, there's not much stopping it. Well, that's what you love. You gotta make it happen. Like just talking to you, I know you got a passion for it. Perfect opportunity is non-existent. You gotta make shit happen. What you have now, and then everything else will fall into place. Uh, but I had this notion going in. I needed a higher paying job to like pour into this equipment so I can make the sounds that I wanted to make. When I first started cutting, I ain't had the best clippers. I didn't even have a chair for people to sit on or a cape to get the hair off their backs. The one thing I did do was start. I can't tell you how many times I like didn't throw something to sound because I was like, man, there's gonna be one flaw. And the biggest thing I realized whenever I was actually like, DJing in public, half the people that are like listening to the music can't even tell when there's like a, there's a slight like issue. They say perfection is the enemy of action. Walk back into that office, man. <laughs> Brand new. Yeah, I appreciate the time. I appreciate the cut. Bro, thank you so much for talking to me today. Dude, thank you All so right. much. I'm making a beat in honor of you today. All right, bro, do it. Let's get it.